The process for the impeachment of the 6th Zamfara State Deputy Governor Mahdi Ali Uguso officially began on 4th February 2022 when Speaker of the Assembly Nasrum Azumagariya received a written complaint against him from the Chairman of the House Committee on a Public Account, Musa Bawa Musa. During a plenary on 8th February 2022, the Speaker announced the receipt of the petition and on 10th February, mandated clerk to the House, Sheikh Saeed Anka, to serve each of the 22 members of the Assembly with a copy of the allegations leveled against the erstwhile deputy governor for them to study the petition and report back to the plenary within five days. The respondent was also served with the impeachment notice accordingly. On 15th February 2022, the assembly members presented their individual report, where 18 out of the 22 of them resolved that a panel to investigate the allegations leveled against the respondent be constituted. The Honorable House is now ready to prosecute its case before the panel. And we are going to charge and prosecute the Deputy Governor Barista Mahdi Ali Uguso. Consequently, the Speaker of the House, Nasrum Azumagaria, conveyed the resolution to the State Chief Judge, requesting her to set up the investigative panel. Accordingly, Zamfar State Chief Judge Justice Kulu Aliu on 14th February 2022 formed and inaugurated a seven-man panel led by a retired Justice Halil Tonkosuba to investigate the allegations in line with Section 185, Subsection 5 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. I have, therefore, after careful consideration of your track records as far as the appointed you for this other status. Believing that you discharge your duty to serve their affection affection will be with you. In accordance with the laws we have just taken. Seven witnesses testified before the panel, which concluded its sitting on 22nd February 2022. The impeached deputy governor, however, shunned the panel as he argued that it was illegally constituted. Since I have nothing to hide, I am not afraid to submit myself to investigation of any allegations on biased and transparent bodies. However, I am compelled to my professional calling as a lawyer to point out that these actions, especially that of Honorable Chief Judge, improper, indecorous, inappropriate and unlawful. The investigative panel eventually submitted its report to the State House of Assembly on 23rd February 2022. Speaker of the House, Nasrum Azumagaria, who highlighted the findings of the panel during the plenary session, said the respondent was found guilty of all the allegations of gross misconduct leveled against him. This prompted clerk to the House, Shoh Saeedu Anka, to instantly constitute a voting panel, after which 20 out of the 22 members of the Assembly voted in favor of impeaching the Deputy Governor. By prohibition of the law, the deputy governor of the first state, Pastor Mahdi Adu Muhammad Gusau, being guilty of gross misconduct, is removed from office for today, 23rd day of uh, February 2022. Just as what we say, I, I against the name. Meanwhile, the vacant position of the number two citizen of Zamfara State was promptly filled in line with Section 191, Subsection 3 of the 1999 Constitution, as the State Chief Judge, Justice Kulu Aliu, has sworn in Senator Hassan Muhammad Gusau as the new Deputy Governor. This followed the confirmation of his appointment by the State House of Assembly shortly after the impeachment of his predecessor. Remember the figure of the new Deputy Governor? Most especially his excellent record of political accomplishment, his excellent interpersonal relationship, his accessibility and closeness to his political constituency. I am confident that His Excellency Senator Hassan Mohammed Nasiha so is just the right person for this. I want to call on both people of the state, particularly my brother and political coach, to please join me so that we can make this in light. I know the enormity of and work of office of the duty summer. I know it requires absolute loyalty to the I am very sad. Until his nomination, the 62-year new deputy governor is a serving senator representing Zamfara Central Senatorial District. He was joyfully accompanied to his new office by Governor Bello Muhammad, amongst other top government officials and politicians. In Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.